Home Secretary about coming off care, eh? coming out of solitary confinement, my last 12 months, and it, it was all blanked. I, I, I could, you know, I wanted to come off care. Eh? I asked to go to a hostel because I didn't want to come back to prison. Donaldson had angrily charged at Bronson with his fist raised after banging into him as he walked down a landing last week. Charlie knows this man's history. Donaldson has attacked older people in the same age bracket as Charlie and has also slashed the throat of another inmate using a concealed weapon. Charlie obviously feared the worst and could not know if this nasty piece of work was holding a weapon. So to defend himself, he hit Donaldson. It was two hooks and two uppercuts. Okay, so apparently Charlie Bronson in HMP Woodhill was provoked by a guy called Robert Donaldson and allegedly the 71 year old pensioner hit this Donaldson with two hooks, two uppercuts uh, when the sick killer tried to attack him on a wing of category A HMP Woodhill last week. I say allegedly because I wouldn't believe anything that comes out of these type of rags but seeing as it's all over the media now and it probably will affect his parole hearing which I think is next year I'm just going to give my two pennies worth and comment on it so first what I'll do is read this from the Mail Online and then I'll give you my thoughts as we go Britain's most dangerous prisoner Charlie Bronson is living on his nerves after being attacked in jail by a convicted murderer his ex-wife has revealed the 71 year old prisoner hit Robert Donaldson with two hooks and two uppercuts when the sick killer tried to attack him on a wing of category A HMP Woodhill last week just to interject straight away you know this is just you know a fabricate not fabricated but it could be true but to say that it was two you know specifically two hooks and two uppercuts that's just creative license I'll continue Donaldson 48 was jailed in 2005 for murdering Paul Bork 38 weeks before gagging a deaf 100-year-old woman, woman and beating up his 76-year-old son while he slept. He also slashed the throat of another inmate in a different prison in 2014. So with what we can say, a source exclusively told the Mail Online last week that Donaldson had angrily charged at Bronson with his fist raised after banging into him as he walked down a landing last week. Bronson's former wife, Irene Dunro, who shares a sum of the infamous prisoner, said she was gutted to hear about the violent incident. She said, I'm gutted and I'd love to see him out. As far as we're concerned, we're still living in that time. He went away. I'll just interject. Well, if you loved him so much, this is just my suggestion. It might have been better not to have gone the press, to the press of this story, which has now splashed it all over the shop. However, one has to say, I don't know whether she got permission from Charles Bronson to put this story out there. We do know that Charlie Bronson likes to court publicity. And if that is the case, then fair enough. But I would question how it would help him um, having this all over everywhere if he wants to get out next year. I'll continue. I just want peace of mind for our son. His mum will be gutted about this too. I think it was in self-defense, she told the mirror. So it was the mirror that broke it, I think. He suffers with PTSD. He's never known over the years who's going to come and jump on him. When I went to visit him, I reached out to touch him and you would have thought I'd burnt him the way he reacted. It was very upsetting. He's always kept well away from this man. Because he's so much like he is, when his blood bumped into him, he's had to protect himself. He's living on his nerves anyway, just waiting for the next thing that's going to happen to him. A source exclusively told the Mail Online last week that Donaldson had angrily charged at Bronson with his fist raised after banging into him as he walked down a landing last week. They added, Charlie knows this man, man's history. Donaldson has attacked older people in the same age bracket as Charlie and has also slashed the throat of another inmate using a concealed weapon. Charlie obviously feared the worst and could not know if this nasty piece of work was holding a weapon. So to defend himself, he hit Donaldson. It was two hooks and two uppercuts. Charlie had been in this position many times before. He knows how to handle himself, of course, but it is such a shame because he has been on his best behaviour for six years, so now worries this will undo all his work. Bronson, who was first convicted in 1974 for armed robbery and now spends 23 hours a day in a cell, lost a parole board bid for freedom last March, 
his next opportunity to make a case for his release will come early next year. So, before I continue with it, just to say that he's 71, but obviously he's going to be in very good shape still, um, due to not having much else to do but to stick to his religious training regime. And it does tend to be that prisoners, some prisoners anyway, at least, even if they've done a long spell in prison, um, when they get out, they tend to be the body, they have the bodies of younger men, although they, they're older and maybe mentally very affected by the time they spent. Um, I met High Roberts in prison in the early 2000s, and we've got good friends, and he looked like an old man on the outside, but when you went in the gym with him, he was benching around about 80, um, what was he benching? It was 30 on each side, so yeah, 80s. Uh, he was doing 10 repeats on them. He was in very phys physically good shape um, because all, obviously all the time he spent in prison. Unfortunately, I lost touch with him when I got out, but um, yeah, so I'll continue. The fight is under internal investigation, but it is understood Bronson has been deprived of his enhanced prisoner status and various privileges, including television use while the probe is ongoing. It's so punitive, the system is. I mean, have they not done enough to the poor man? The source said Donaldson has not been punished. They said Donaldson is now going around with a load of bandages on his head acting like the victim. The prison authorities will be going through the CCTV and statements from the officers. They said officers will understand Bronson was not the antagonist, but added he is so worried that he could be found guilty of assaulting Donaldson that all his hard work will be undone and his bid for freedom will be scuppered. The Ministry of Justice confirmed it was investigating an incident in the prison. A spokesman said we do not tolerate violence in prisons and anyone who breaks the rules will be punished. It would be inappropriate to comment further while investigations are going on. Okay, then it just goes on about all the different crimes that Charlie had um, committed whilst he was in prison. My thoughts on this, like I say, I wish it had been kept quiet, but like I say, maybe he wanted it out there for some reason or his ex-wife has done it for other reasons or they may have known that it was going to get out anyway so they sort of got out their side of the story first you know i can only repeat myself that he's been treated terribly over the years you know decades he spent behind bars um and he's never killed anybody yes he did commit offenses inside but you know he's 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 far less worse than many of the people inside and he's it's clearly caused him a lot of mental health problems and trauma you know and i just hope that this is seen for what it is that he was defending himself if it did happen and it doesn't affect his parole hearing next year but i'm sure it will do i mean any excuse to keep him inside um yeah, very sad, but I just thought I'd make a quick video on this, seeing as it's all over the shop, and just say that I, you know, personally, I hope that this is 